Hey guys, Northern Crusader here with a video I didn't think I'd actually be making. The game in the background is Company of Heroes 2, and it might seem a bit tangential because Company of Heroes 2, modern firearms. What am I talking about? Dynasty Warriors 9. So, Dynasty Warriors 9 has come out, and suffice to say, it's come out to a bit of a, um, let's say, questionable thing. Questionable release. The game has been out for about 24 hours at this point, isn't it? Yeah, it's been out for about 24 hours. It came out yesterday, as of recording. Out of 830 reviews, 28% are positive. This is on Steam, so... I kind of see why, but I need to actually get my own... My own information out there, my own opinion. So, I've been playing Dynasty Warriors since Dynasty Warriors 3 XL. So I've even got Dynasty Tactics, both of them. Well, I had both of them, then sold one during the phase. Um, I bought Kesson 2, I've tried Realms of the Three Kingdoms and just I can't get back. It's too complex for me. But I've got every Dynasty Warriors game on console since 3XL apart from 2. So I, I've been playing it for a long time. I've been playing every game consistently. Like, I haven't played 7. I haven't, sorry, I haven't played 8 recently but then that's more due to my taste kind of changing recently. But besides the point, I've been playing it for long enough to know what makes it a Dynasty Warriors game? So, let's start with the pros. What's Dynasty Warriors 9 got that none of the others do? Open world. This is kind of the biggest point of contention I've, always, I've seen. It may as well be addressed early on. You see, the open world thing has kind of made it so the battles are more spread out. And the, ba the fields are kind of empty. It's kind of a big thing about open world games. Like, And I actually do look at Breath of the Wild and think, yeah, that's where you try and copy. The maps are mostly empty. Like, you can explore China, it's mostly it's devoid of life, which just doesn't really feel good. Like, it doesn't feel like it should. Don't get me wrong, they give you plenty to do. They give you fishing, they give you hunting, uh, they give you quests to do. Yeah, it's not all there. Um, but going on from that, there's also... I don't know... Eh, You've got your main story, which you're meant to... You can always see the battle happening like, when you're not there. Like, they give you updates on what's happened, which... I like the idea you to fight all the time, so... Eh, but the problem is... This is the kicker. It's a Dynasty Warriors game. We don't play Dynasty Warriors to go exploring, to go... find things, to go hunting. Like... Why did you think this was a good thing? Like, don't get me wrong, I... Open world... Is not a bad thing intrinsically, it's how it's done. Breath of the Wild is a masterclass in how open world games should be done. There's a lot there, the world is full of life, unless there's some reason for it, like um, a trial or a lonely beach or something like that. There, but there's always a, some kind of life there, some kind of vibrancy. Of course, Hyrule Castle being the exception of the rule. And then. Like, there's always something there as well, like a mini game or just something fun you can do. Like, you can climb a mountain just to see how high it goes, or just go explore Death Mountain, or even just do the get the story and find the four uh, beasts, and find beasts and save them. Like, there's tons to do in that game. You, you can't. I'm, I haven't got the game myself, I haven't got a Switch, and I really want one. But it's a masterclass in how open world can and should be done. Dynasty Warriors is not the game to do this in. I don't know why, but it seems as though people look and see the, the genre being open world and lower their standards. It's weird, because open world has been done many times brilliantly. Mercenaries, uh, the Mercenary series, both 1 and 2, they did, they did open world. There wasn't an issue there. They actually did it quite well. I mean, Merc uh, Playground and Destruction especially. You could go around causing chaos, you, uh, as long as you didn't piss off the allies, you were fine. If you were playing Mercenaries 2, you could pretty much tick off anyone and be fine, as long as you had money in the bank to go bribe people. Like, they give you plenty to do, well, with Mercenaries 2 less so. And you can just go do it, it's in the theme of the game. Uh, Saboteur, Saboteur! As part of this second pandemic game, I don't know why, no, sorry, third, rather. It gives you plenty to do aside from just killing Nazis, but they're all in the theme of the game. Like, you're not going to ki stop killing a Nazi because you're talking to your sending supplies to the Russians, which I know seems like a random example, but it's a good, it's a relevant one that I can give. 
You're not going to stop killing Nazis to go hunt. Unless you're hunting Nazis, which, you know, kind of the case. Dynasty Warriors has this weird thing where you can go fishing, you can go hunting, that's pretty much the other things you can do off the battlefield. But again, it's Dynasty Warriors, like, you should be fighting! It's in the title! It's a Warriors game! It's Dynasty Warriors. Why do you think that it's hunting? <laughs> and this thing, the worst bit, like, I I'll give it credit, like, open world can't be done really well for a Warriors game. Open up the battlefields. They have done. Um, spread out the lines. Make it so that each individual skirmish is roughly the size of a battle. In, like, Dynasty Warriors 8 or something like that. But no, no. Apparently, uh, what they've done is make it so that the battles... The, I, I keep, I'm going to just clarify right now. I go battle and skirmish. A battle is like the whole theatre that you're in. So let's say the Yellow Turban Rebellion. Skirmish is one individual area in that battle. So let's say... Um, again, the Yellow Turban Rebellion is your battle. A skirmish would be like Jiang Bao in that battle. Or Hu Lao Gate. A skirmish would be Lu Bu. Which... Kind of funny that a one man can't win the entire skirmish, but that's beside the point. <laughs> Uh, but they should have made it so that each skirmish was the size of what you could find in Dynasty Warriors 8 in one go. They didn't. They actually skimmed it. There's still a lot, don't get me wrong. But it, it doesn't... It doesn't measure up. And every time you find an officer... They, this is actually something they removed in 5. Um, so I should clarify that now. In, in 3 and 4... I think especially in 3... Whenever you found an officer, they would do like a little cutscene to introduce them. Four had the same thing, but it also had a second thing where if they introduced themselves, they tended to be commanders. And at times there would be a little cutscene for a duel, which would be based on on the relationship between officers. So Lubu would always challenge you to a duel, for instance. Whereas Zhang Liao would always ch would challenge Guan Yu to a duel quite often. That kind of thing. In this... Every time you find an officer, they are zoomed in on, and they just stand there. Why? It, it doesn't make sense. It's, why does that make any semblance of sense to you to do? We know where the officer is. You've told us. You've given him his name. We don't need to see what he looks like. Why does that help? Why is that? It just ruins the flow of the game. I suppose, speaking of the flow of the game, I should really go over something else. They actually removed most of the weapons from the game. Well, from most of the, we the weapon variation. Every officer can use every weapon in a unique way. However, this just makes every one of them seem bland. Like, they all seem to have a very similar moveset. And it mostly comes down to their new combo system, which they call it the state combo system. And I've actually got lucky into this. It's pretty much just you do three attacks, then you get to choose a follow up. It can actually make combos really flow together quite nicely, but again, this one is a uh, did it better. You had your proper move set. You could learn and make battles that make your character feel like he's dancing through the entire battlefield if you did it right. And again, I've harkened back to this one is five, where you had move set your your attacks. Your attack numbers were limited to the weapon level you had. So if you had the basic weapon, you had four attacks. If you had the best weapon, you had got six attacks. That kind of thing. And, of course, got to bring it up, Dynasty Warriors 7 and 8 did it by level. Where you... Oh, wait, actually, this way. No, there's the eight attacks. But Dynasty Warriors 7 did it by level. Dynasty Warriors 8 did it by level as well. This just sticks a four and makes it so you stay a four. It doesn't make combat flow any better. It just makes it more cumbersome, if anything. Because you're stuck doing these four moves. And then saying, okay, I want to end it like this. That's not good. That doesn't work. I should also, like... Then, again, I weapon variation is not good. Wang Yi. Wang Yi was the best thing to find in DSOS 7. In my opinion, obviously. Like, DSOS 7, you got a lot added in. And I actually tried to salvage what DSOS 6 was. Wang Yi in this way 7 and 8 is armed with Sai or Trishula. The game calls him Trishula, I think they actually Sai, whatever it was called. In this way 9, she is armed with Chakra. The weird hoop things that Shang Zhang is known for. Why is this a thing? I'll never know. I'm 
I really do want to know because it doesn't make any sense. You've made it so every character is a bland mess. And like one of the more popular officers that I, I don't like him myself, Jung Hae. He had claws in every game, half of them six for them to fix them. Um, he had claws in just about every single game he's been in. What do they give him in the history where it's nine? A sword. That's it. It doesn't make sense. I, just because it's gone open world doesn't mean you should lower your standards. I, I know it's a difficult thing to work with, don't get me wrong, but you're lowering your standards to try and make it work. No, no. You should make it work and then get your standards higher. The, if they go, if the way this should work is they should stick with Gears Wise being what it is. It's a Warriors game, we know the format. You play a warrior, you have a battlefield, you clear it out, you choose the next battle. If the wider vary, they should have given you the option of choosing battles. Choosing where you want to go next. DLC Tactics ironically did it better. Because DLC Tactics won. You got to choose a route and would live with the consequences of that. So for instance, like the earliest example I can give is Lu Bei. You can form an alliance with Lu Bu and attack Yon Chu, or you can attack Lu Bu. Or you can just not do anything and Lu Bu attack you. That's a good. That's a good thing. That's a good way of doing it. Like you actually actively have to move your forces to commit. This tattoo suit made it so you had to choose a path. Like you would say, okay, I want to go and attack this person, and then the map will change according to that. But it's a different map system. It's weird. It's easy if you watch the games. And then, like the hypothetical system in Dynasty uh, Seven, also did even better because you had to do things to change the tide of history. Which would benefit you in future battles, along with actually giving you an entirely different ending. Like, for instance, um, the Shu's hypothetical, you actually unite the three kingdoms under Shu and Wu. That's a good way of doing it, that works. Why not do more of that? Why not make it so you can choose your path? But no, no, it's a good story. I should also point out that the characters are not, the voice acting. The voice acting. Oh god, the voice acting. Like, they took a sledgehammer to the budget, I think. Because, <laughs> okay, I have to go over Dance 2 Ways 6 and 6, 7, 8 for this. I don't know 5. Dance 2 Ways 5 wasn't exactly the highest budget in the world, but they got a voice actor for it, they got a good material for it, they worked with it. They actually got really respectful scripts done, and it really did fit the tone. Dance 2 Ways 6 actually did get them pronouncing names properly, gave them a lot to work with. I actually I heard that the voice actor a lot of fun with that. Dance 2 Ways 7. We know that was a voice that the train wreck in terms of script, but they made it work. Like, Juge Leon sounds like the wise, respectful strategist. Liu Bei sounds like the noble hero. Sao Sao sounds like the, well, I say the hero of chaos, but you know. Sun Jian sounds like the brave man that he is, that kind of thing. And this? They can't even keep the name straight during one line. Which, I don't know, it, it shouldn't be. I'm not even going to go over side missions because, well, I'm going to make one mention of side missions. They're a decent idea, I think they're executed badly. Because side missions, honestly, the, what they do is make it so the, the final battle at the end of a chapter is easier. That's not what they should do. If I wanted that, I'd actually play something else. Side missions should give you Obviously, they should, they should give you a bonus, obviously, like some reward or some benefit. But in this, it's literally just the battle leader at the end. No, that, that's not how it should go. And it's a shame, because there's a lot of potential. If I were to try and fix this game, I would honestly first off go and make it so the voice actors did their lines. That's the easiest one to fix. The system itself is flawed. I think they should go back to what they had in this way 7. And build it up from there. If you want to do open world, by all means, do open world. Make the battles a wider affair. You know, make it so that you can actually choose to go to a battle and start it up. But this is not for a Dynasty War. It's not for a Warriors game. Samurai Warriors wouldn't do this. Fire Emblem wouldn't do this. Hyrule wouldn't do this. Uh, Arslan wouldn't do this. The only thing that has had hit killing wolves before is six. Six, I keep saying, was the worst of the bunch. 
And if you're going to commit to that, then this UI isn't going to last much longer. I know Koei aren't going to watch this because I'm too small a YouTuber. I mean, I'm pretty sure no one's going to be watching this. But the one thing I will say, I got watching Jim's uh, Jim the uh, Jim's video on Vince's. He's a fan like I am, and he understands Dennis Suarez better than. There's another review and I can't remember his name. I need to. I'll, I'll, if I remember to look it up, I'll actually put it up. And he, he says, he says I haven't played Dennis Suarez in ten years. Ten years is a big gap for Dennis Suarez games. In 2008, which was ten years ago, we had Dennis Suarez six. We had the Instant Ways 5 10 years ago. That's how big a change it is. <laughs> I would honestly say, if you don't, if you haven't played the Instant Ways consistently, then you have a different set of rules to judge the Instant Ways on. Because you don't understand where it's come from and where it's gone. Now, I'm not saying that the guy who reviewed it and... No, I can't remember his name. I need to look that up. Because that's going to bug me. The guy who reviewed it and said, oh, it's not a bad game, it's, yeah, obviously the fan is going to have, you know, it's going to be the people, And people are going to follow him because he's doing it. I don't follow people, but the, um, and follow people blindly. Yeah. There are people saying that because Jim said what he did, there are people coming out of the woodwork and saying what he's saying because they're sheep. I don't follow people blindly. I have my own views, and I will continue to say my own views. However, the thing I will say, if you've played Dynasty Warriors over the last 10 years with 6 Empires, 7, 7 Empires, 7 XL, 8, 8 XL, 8 Empires, you would have a different standard of what Dynasty Warriors can be than someone who hasn't played it for like years. Now, I'm saying my opinion here. If you want to challenge me on it, feel free, I will be happy to answer you, and I will give you my, my opinion on it. But, this is not a Dynasty Warriors game. This is probably the first one I'm not going to buy in a long time. And to be honest, if you like Dynasty Warriors, go, go play it. 8 or better. They had a massive opportunity here, and they missed it. And now, we need to make sure they know that. So yeah, guys, this has been Northern Crusader. Yeah, this has been a video I didn't think I'd actually do. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to call it. Swift sports, I don't know. But I will catch you another time, and hopefully it'll be better than this. So, hope you enjoyed this, folks, and I'll catch you another time. Bye! The thing I will say if you've played Dynasty Warriors over the last 10 years with 6 Empires, 7, 7 Empires, 7 XL, 8, 8 XL, 8 Empires, you would have a different standard of what Dynasty Warriors can be than someone who hasn't played it for like years. Now, I'm saying my own opinion here. If you want to challenge me on it, feel free. I will be happy to answer you. And I will give you my, my opinion on it. But, this is not a Dynasty Warriors game. This is probably the first one I'm not going to buy in a long time. And to be honest, if you like Dynasty Warriors, go, go play 8. 8 is better. They had a massive opportunity here, and they missed it. And now, we need to make sure they know that. So yeah, guys, this has been Northern Crusader. This has been a video I didn't think I'd actually do. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what it's called, like, Swift Sports, I don't know. But I will catch you another time, and hopefully it will be better news. So, hope you enjoy this, folks. I'll catch you another time. Bye! I'll catch you another time.